Continuing on, we're going to talk about the next conditional variable, and it's called while. What we're going to say is while check is less than 7, then we execute what's inside. So what we're going to do here is we'll echo the value of check along with concatenating a page break so that it goes into another line, makes it easier for us to see. And then we're going to say check plus plus. That's a shorthand way to just add one to a variable. Now when we run this, we're going to see three, four, five, six, and then it stops. That's because check was initially three, and every time it hit the while, it said, I am less than seven, let me run this, and then add one. And then I'll run it again, and add one, and add one, until it got up to seven, and at that point, it was no longer less than seven, so it stopped. It's a good way to repeat information a particular number of times, or, or until a particular thing becomes true. Continuing on, we'll now talk about forms. We're going to go back to this page we made earlier, which has our header for Hello Creative Online School. We have it here. It simply puts out a number and then our header. Well, we're going to add a form. I'll just paste it in here so you don't have to watch me type. And I'll go over the parts real quick. The form action is the location of our file. In this case, the file I've made is called index2.php. We're going straight to this so that we can use it as an example. And we've set the method equal to get. That's going to be important in a moment. There's two simple inputs here, one called name, and then a submit button. So when we go and view this, we'll now see that we have a simple input box along with the submit button. Now, if I were to enter something into the box, like my name, and click submit, it's going to show us the same page, but if you look at the URL, you're going to notice that there's now a question name equals Justin in the URL. That's because our method was get. It's going to assign the different things we put into the form to the URL. And if we go back to our code, we can do something about that. First, we have to check if the get exists. That way, we know whether we need to execute it or assign it to another value. We can do that by saying if is set, which checks if it exists, dollar sign underscore get, open brackets, the name of our field in quotes, because this is called name, this is going to pull name, because name is what's going to be in the URL. And then we'll say if it exists, then we'll set var equal to it. Var equals dollar sign underscore get name. We'll use our else statement here to say else var equals for. So if we have a get, it should be set to what we have, and if not, it'll assign it to four. We'll save this and go back to the web page. Now for now, I'm going to remove this so that we can see it from the beginning. We've loaded our page. It says four in hello from creativeonlineschool.com. And when I put my name in this time, click submit. Instead of four, it's put out Justin. That's because it's pulled it from the URL where it says name. That's how to use gets in PHP, and you can submit your forms to them and have the information accessible in your code. We'll continue on with some more form information, along with some other types of PHP functions in our next video.